productive powers property. To multiply powers with the same base, and that's important, it has to be the same base, you simply add their exponents. This is what it looks like. If you have 7 to the 8th power times 7 to the 9th power, you simply add the exponents. So you would have 7 to the 17th power. With a variable, it looks like this. If you have x to the 7th power times x to the 4th power, you simply add the exponents and you get x to the 11th power. It is very important to remember that you can only do this with the same base. Power of a power property. To simplify a power of a power, you multiply the exp exponents. So it would look like this. If you had 6 to the 4th power, but it was to the 4th power as well, you simply multiply your exponents. So you would have 6 to the 16th power. If you had written this out, it would have been 6 to the 4th times 6 to the 4th times 6 to the 4th, times 6 to the 4th. And as the previous slide showed you, you would add the exponents in this situation. 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 6 to the 16th power. Power of a product property. To simplify a power of a product, find the power of each factor and multiply. And this is what this looks like. If you have 3x to the fourth power, that fourth power is actually to each value. So you could rewrite this as 3 to the fourth times x to the fourth. We can go ahead and solve 3 to the fourth. We know that's 81. We can't solve x to the fourth because we don't have a value for x, so we simply leave it as x to the fourth. 